Hey guys, this is Flyman, just bringing you the Seymour Solar SF950A solar filter today. This is a glass filter, it's off axis, so we'll talk about it a little bit. And uh, a little, talk a little bit about Seymour Solar, the company as well, because I have some really good things to say about them. So why would you want an off axis filter? Why would you want most of your filter covered with this hard plastic? The reason is, for most telescopes, you want as big of an aperture as possible, so that you can bring in more light for the stars, obviously, and you want as much light as you can get. Well, the sun is so close, so big, and so bright that you really don't need all the rest of this aperture. And if there's any disturbance in the atmosphere, you're going to get less of it by bringing in less light. So by constricting your uh, aperture here, uh, you actually can get a better view out of the sun. And so that's why I bought an off-axis glass filter. I feel like they're a little bit more durable than the film. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of people like the film filters a little bit more. Uh, I'm a glass filter guy, and for the price, this thing is just solid. Nice, uh, looks like it's an aluminum frame here. Solid, solid plastic with really good glass. Uh, this is a fantastic filter. In addition to being off-axis, this filter blocks 99.999% of all incoming sunlight. So only about 1 1,000th of a percent gets through, which is pretty impressive. As you see here, this is my Celestron Nexstar 8SE optical tube. Uh, this 9.5-inch uh, filter is compatible with most 8-inch uh, Schmidt-Cassegrain telescopes and 8-inch Newtonian reflector telescopes. That includes the Zumel 8-inch Dobsonians, the Orion SkyQuest Dobsonians that are 8-inch, um, the Mead LX90 8-inch Schmidt-Cassegrain. Uh, so most 8-inch scopes this one's compatible with, and they have a bunch of different sizes, so you can find one that fits your telescope. As you can see here, the quality of the filter is really good too. Uh, it's a nice, gives a nice orange sun. Uh, this happens to be the transit of Mercury, so you can see the, the planet there in tight focus, just right of center. Um, and then, you know, when we throw a Barlow lens on there, um, it doesn't really degrade the image too much, as you can see here. I mean, yeah, the, the atmosphere is a little bit more turbulent. But that's why we use the off-axis filter to try and prevent that a little bit. So it uh, looks really good um, as, as you would expect it to. And uh, there's not really much more to say than that. This solar filter is really nice in that it has nylon thumb screws. So when you're attaching it to your telescope, you're not going to scratch up your objective at all. It's really easy and fast to secure. Uh, it's for 8-inch scopes, the SF950A. You just slip it on over, tighten your thumb screws pretty good. And you're ready to observe the sun. It's as simple as that. One thing that gets overlooked quite a bit is how a company packages their product. Uh, Seymour Solar does a great job. They have about a quarter inch uh, foam here on the bottom and a quarter inch layer of foam on the top, which is great. Uh, protects the filter really well. Obviously, as any company should, it's wrapped in plastic, so there's no damage to your glass or anything like that, and it stays clean. And then they also include a bunch of Velcro with adhesive backs so that you can line the inside of the filter so you get a more secure and snug fit. Now, I feel like this, the nylon thumb screws do a fine job, so I just use those. But Seymour provides plenty of options for you to get that, that fit that you want. All right, so at the beginning of this video, I said I'd talk about the Seymour Solar brand a little bit. And I just had a, a story I wanted to share real quick with everyone. Uh, I bought my first filter from them four years ago. And at the time, they were moving, I think, from Oregon to Utah. So, uh, you know, a company moving, that's probably a big deal and hard to get their filters out. But they still got it to me within about a week, which was really impressive. I, I was really excited about it, and I got it. And I was trying to put it on my scope, you know, just ram it on there, and it wasn't working so well. And I, I didn't understand why, so I thought, oh, okay, maybe it's just a really, really tight fit. So I just jammed it on there and scratched up my OTA really well. Uh, just being that youngster I was, I just didn't get that your uh, your filter shouldn't be that tight. About six months later, uh, I thought, you know, this is really strange that I'm, you know, forcing my filter on there. Probably shouldn't be doing that. So I emailed uh, Seymour Solar, and they told me to send them pictures. So I did, and they said, oh yeah, you definitely have the wrong size. And I thought, oh man, I am very stupid. So anyway, to uh, uh, to bring the story to a close, they are awesome. They sent me this filter for free, uh, free shipping, and then when I opened the box, uh, there was a return shipping label for the old filter, and then I could just put it in the box they sent it to me. So, 
uh, I got free shipping for this filter and they, uh, they took their old one back and they paid for the shipping both ways. They sent me this filter for free and I got, you know, some goodies with it. I got some uh, solar glasses and a piece of solar film that they had no reason to send me. They just did because they're an awesome company. It was totally my fault and they took care of me. I didn't have to pay a dime for anything. So that was really awesome of them. I thought I'd just uh, let you guys know that. And uh, they are a great company to work with. Excellent customer service and just make really, really quality filters. Uh, like I said, I've had this four years now and uh, it's just been as durable as it was day one. So uh, yeah, they didn't have to do any of that for me, but they took care of it. They, you know, they, they didn't uh, charge me a restocking fee like a lot of companies would, you know, a 20% restocking fee or whatnot. Uh, they were just awesome down to earth people and uh, they took care of me. So uh, I just thought I'd uh, let you guys know that they are a awesome company. All right guys, well that's my review of the Seymour Solar SF950A. As you can see, they are an awesome company that makes awesome products. So for me, Seymour Solar is my go-to for solar filters for any type of telescope, whether it's film or glass. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video and have a good one.